as you've probably heard, I've turned my hand to producing Bibles now. Bibles. It's a very popular book, I'm told, though I'm not sure how popular it really is. I mean, has it ever topped the New York Times bestseller list like The Art of the Deal? I don't know, because I never checked. Now, I know a lot of people are saying that this is just another cynical cash grab from a man drowning in troubles. And I want to put those rumors to rest by stating, for the record, that it absolutely is. It's a grift, just like all my other grifts, except this time I'm literally ripping off God. I figured I'd spent my whole career ripping off the rest, so it was about time I ripped off the best. And you know, at $59.99 a copy, it's pretty overpriced. But it's worth noting that the edges of the pages are gilded with gold. Gold, gold gilding. And I specify it's gold gilding on the website. They said I didn't need to do that because gilding is gold by definition. But I don't really know what gilding is and I just love to say gold. Gold, gold, such a great word, a very powerful word, gold. Of course, given my financial situation, I was none too happy that they wanted to use gold. I tried to talk them out of it, in fact, but they said, no, it has to have the goal. They said to me, this is it, this is the Bible, this is the Christian tome, and no true Christian would ever buy a guilt-free Bible. So I caved, but I got them to, to bump up the price by an extra 10 bucks anyway. We had a few problems during production, though. It took a, it took a, a few hundred runs before we were able to create a Bible that I could pick up without my hand bursting into flames. I never could figure out why that kept happening. It's funny though, because I had a similar problem when I was a kid. My nanny would hold the Bible open for me to read. I remember it well. She'd say, recite the verses, demon spawn, recite them and be cleansed. Oh, she was a hottie, but she'd hold the Bible open and I'd look at the, at the pages and, and my eyeballs would start to melt some kind of weird reaction. And maybe it was the ink they used, nobody could ever explain it. So my nanny, another nanny, a different nanny this time, she would read the Bible to me, but I never could hear it because my ears would start to smolder. Then my hair would, would inevitably catch fire. Um, and then it would be another trip to the ER. That's why my hair looks like this, by the way. I lost it so often as a kid that eventually it just stopped growing back but my head is so ugly and misshapen that I was forced to wear a wig. Then, of course, when I had the means to do it, I just started wearing an old ermine stoat on my head, and that's this magnificent crown that you see here today. So anyway, Bibles, buy your overpriced Bible from me today. Buy now, and I'll throw in a pair of asbestos gloves for free, just in case.